Hi friends, welcome to Botany the Language of Plants and today's topic Types of Permanent Tissue We know in case of meristematic tissue, cell division never stop. But in this case, in case of permanent tissue, after a period, cells never divide. So it is called permanent. Now, permanent tissue divide into two types. Simple permanent tissue and another is complex permanent tissue. When a tissue made up with only one type cells, then this is called simple permanent tissue. And simple permanent tissue divide into three types. That is parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma. So, simple permanent tissue, three types, parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma. When a tissue made up with only parenchyma touch cells, then this is called parenchyma touch tissue. And when a tissue made up with only cholenchyma touch cells, then it is called cholenchyma touch tissue. And when a cell made up with only sclerenchyma touch cells, then it is called sclerenchyma tissue. So this is simple permanent tissue. Now, now parenchymatous tissue. When a tissue made up with only parenchymatous cells, then this type of tissue called parenchymatous tissue. And we know parenchymatous cells are living cells. That means they contain protoplasm, they contain nucleus, and also contain all cell organelles and their layer cell wall are thin and contain primary cell wall. So this is parenchymatous cells and parenchymatous tissue found in maximum areas of plant. When a group of parenchymatous cells perform a specific function and their origin also same, then this is called parenchymatous tissue. Now, parenchymatous tissue divide into two types according to function and according to sets. According to function, parenchymatous tissue six types and these are Chlorenchyma, adenchyma, prosenchyma, vascular parenchyma, medullary parenchyma, conjunctive parenchyma, and armed parenchyma. So, according to their function, parenchyma divide into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 types. Cholenchyma, adenchyma, prosenchyma, vascular parenchyma. Medullary parenchyma, conjunctive parenchyma, and arm parenchyma. And according to their shape, parenchyma divide into four types elongated, stellate, polyhedral, and lobed. Now, cholenchyma, parenchyma, tissue. We know chlorophyll containing parenchyma cells called chlorenchyma. Two type chlorenchyma cells are present. One palisade parenchyma and another is spongy parenchyma and both present on leaves. Second type parenchyma tissue adenchyma. In this type tissue parenchyma tissue Air cavity is present between cells. This type parenchyma tissue present in aquatic plant. Next type prosenchyma. Cells are elongated and became narrow in both ends. 
this type and gametes tissue called prosenchyma actually it is elongated more than meristematic tissues prosenchyma tissue present in vascular bundle next type vascular parenchyma parenchyma is cells which present beside xylem or phloem this is called vascular parenchyma so in a stain this is epidermis then hypodermis then cortex and then vascular bundle present this is vascular bundle and after this vascular bundle vascular parenchymal cells present so vascular parenchymal cells present in this region so this is vascular parenchyma and after this vascular parenchyma pith present here pith pith also consist of parenchymal cells but not vascular parenchyma now next type parenchymal cells is medullary parenchyma parenchymal cells present in between two vascular bundle this type parenchymal cells calls medullary parenchyma so these red cells are medullary parenchyma and here also again a vascular bundle present then medullary parenchyma then again vascular bundle present then medullary parenchyma parenchymal cells present and we know that medullary rays made up with this parenchymal cells so this is medullary parenchyma now next type parenchymal cells is conjunctive parenchyma conjunctive parenchyma cells or tissue present in roots is help to store water so in root endoderm is present pericycle present phloem present xylem present and conjunctive parenchyma cells present in this region between phloem and xylem and after this pericycle so this is conjunctive parenchyma tissue it's help to store water so these are the conjunctive parenchyma cells now uh, another type parenchyma cells armed parenchyma when parenchyma contain arm that means star shaped parenchyma cells called arm parenchyma this type parenchyma present in mesophyll cell of pinus leaf we know in pinus leaf this is epidermis after epidermis hypodermis present at the central region vascular bundle present and next to vascular bundle mesophyll zone present here this arm parenchyma cells present so this is mesophyll zone of uh, pinus leaf so this is all type of parenchyma tissues according to their function now according to their shape you know according to shape parenchyma tissue four type elongated when parenchyma cell elongated then it is called elongated parenchyma cells example palisade parenchyma or prosenchyma now next type 
stellate parenchyma when parenchymatous cells make a star shaped structure then this is called stellate example arenchyma arenchymatous parenchyma tissue are also considered as a stellate parenchymatous tissue according to their shape now next type polyhedral when parenchymatous cell look like hexagonal or pentagonal like structure then this is called polyhedral and this type parenchymatous cells present in storage region help to store food it's also called vegetable parenchyma so polyhedral parenchyma present in vegetable now last type parenchymatous cell lobe parenchymatous cell in this case parenchyma cell oval shape or lobe spongy parenchyma example of lobe parenchymatous cell so elongated parenchyma cell present in palisade parenchyma stellate present adenchymatous uh, tissues polyhedral present vegetables and lobe present spongy parenchyma in leaves so this is all type parenchymatous tissues if you like this video then press like button subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get notification and thank you for watching this video